<laughs> Hello, Minecraft maniacs. It's the Frog Queen here, and today I'm going to show you how I make my cute little axolotl enclosure. This one you see behind me, which you've probably seen on my streams. Several people have asked me to make a tutorial on this, so um, here you go. Uh, I did it for you. Yeah, let's let's just dive in, shall we? So first you're just going to choose an area and I'm going to knock out some grass blocks and replace them with sand. Uh, we'll just do like a 4x4 four four area. It doesn't really matter how big you want to do it. You can do it any size you want. Um, because the idea is that we don't want this to look too perfect. You kind of want it to look a little disheveled and I'll show you what I mean. Next we'll just uh, put down some dark oak. I really like the dark oak and you'll see why it just looks much better with the contrast. Uh, and I really like using the light blue glass blocks here because it really just makes the water look, um, you know, a little more watery, I guess. <laughs> Next, we are going to uh, just sort of encase that glass. This is the front of the aquarium. And um, we're just gonna take that dark oak and kind of put it all over. And then and you'll notice I put like some stumps in front of the glass and this is to get it that kind of see-through, that little peekaboo window type feel. We don't want this to look super intentional. We kind of want it to look more natural and so you don't have to do exactly as I'm doing. Just play around with the blocks and see if you can get a sort of um, natural look uh, from the blocks and how they're placed. Uh, but this this works as you can see. So you can, you can just do exactly like this if you want. And then we're going to run around and we're going to put more of that dark oak around and we don't want this to be a square so we're just trying to place them a little bit like I said where they don't look like a perfect cube, they don't look really intentional and then we can just kind of fill in the gaps. If it's easier for you at first, you can actually just build a perfect square around the sand that we put there and then add on to the outside of that um, to make it less square like. Um, I wanted to put a little peekaboo window also in the back so we can put some more glass back here as well. Just like that and then we can see the axolotls from all sides if that's what you want. Uh, and then we're just going to continue building up the tree stump and the idea is that this is like a cute little natural tree stump could really blend in with one of your forest builds depending on what kind of uh, base you like to do I like to do natural forest builds a lot of the time so this is kind of my ideal aquarium so we're also just going to build up the top. You want to leave a little gap in the top for you to actually fill up with water and everything like that. And we want the top to be a bit uneven. You actually don't have to cover the axolotl tank completely. They'll be just fine if you just keep a little opening there. And now we're going to fill the tank up with some water. And it's here I'm actually going to grab a few things that we're going to use to decorate the inside of the aquarium. So things like coral, kelp, seagrass, uh, sea pickles, you know, any kind of things that you want to put in there. But first we got to fill it up with water. The key to filling the tank up with water is to start at the bottom and just run the water sources all along the sides and then go to the next level of blocks and do the same thing. And that's the best and easiest way to fill up a tank or anything with water. So then you don't have any gaps or any running water. It's just all pure source block water. And then we can put all of our decorations in, however you choose to decorate it. Again, I like making things look a little bit unintentional, but it's good to pay attention to the colors that you're using so that they complement the colors on the outside of the aquarium. Uh, but this pink and blue combo always looks really sharp. And with our pink axolotls, I think it'll look cute together. Throw down some kelp. Let's release the axolotls into the containment area. <laughs> and take a look at what we've got so far. So this is where we're going to actually start working on the decorations. As you can see, I'm still all finicky with uh, how I feel about the top there, but that's okay. We're going to take some of those new beautiful azalea bushes 
and we're gonna run those around our tank. I want this to look really natural, so I'm just trying to fill in some gaps, and you'll see as we go how it looks. It'll, it'll start looking more and more natural as we go. And uh, the azalea bushes really provide that overgrowth uh, that's gonna make this look really unique in my opinion. And I use these tree stump designs for other things as I have actually made a lot of nether portals that are like tree stump designs, which I just find really blend into my builds and uh, look really homey and cozy. We're just gonna dot all these leaf blocks around. We're gonna use some of those pretty flower azaleas, which will kind of complement the coral that we put inside of the tank. And you can actually use the leaf blocks just to close up the tank too if you prefer if you're worried about anything stumbling in there and attempting to kill your little predators it could happen I suppose <laughs> and we're getting there now you can see we've got to add some more razzle dazzle let's call it razzle dazzle today uh, we'll add those pink azaleas in and you can see they, they go so well with our little friends Again, we don't want too many of the pink azaleas, just enough to make it pop. And then here, I'm just gonna grab some more decorations. One of my favorite thing is to make these sort of mushrooms. Uh, mushrooms really add to the overgrowth and that foresty feel. I like to use end rods and then the mushroom blocks uh, for these kind of mini mushrooms. And if you have the vanilla tweaks pack for more uh, mob heads and more mini blocks, then you can get the little mushroom blocks and those really add a lot to this. But uh, since we're in a creative world, I am just using uh, the regular mushroom blocks. And what we're doing here is we're kind of putting them at different heights and that's going to kind of make that feel very unintentional, very natural, and also going to frame again where the axolotls are actually living, making our eye focus more on the center, which is where the axolotls are. And we'll just add uh, maybe some more mushrooms. We could even add like some azalea plants and stuff too, the mini seedling azaleas. Those are adorable. But again, dotting around that red, it really does lead the eye in a, in a proper way. It's telling us where to look at the axolotls. It's framing the picture. And to further finish the picture, you gotta focus on the ground a bit. If it's just all this kind of bland grass, it kinda gets a little bit boring, so we can pop out some of those grass blocks. We could even use some of the new rooted dirt and things to add to that. Um, there we go, that just, that that's better, that makes it pop. <laughs> that makes it pop. Sometimes it's just one block that makes it pop. It's always good to also just stand back and take a look at the finished product and say what's missing here that's what I do a lot of the time um, and then I can pinpoint what kind of feels off about it so we're gonna add some grass some grass pieces and this is where we're also gonna pop out some of the grass blocks and replace it with a bit of coarse dirt maybe some rooted dirt so we'll just grab those pieces and uh, we'll replace a few things there we go. This is going to really give that a more natural feel as well. Really like that new rooted dirt block. Looks great next to our very, very well loved and well used coarse dirt block. <laughs> and there you have it. You're done. Easy. Wow, thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end, guys. And if you haven't already, please give this video a like. Leave your comments and your thoughts in the description below or the, the, the appropriate area below. What am I saying? <laughs> and if you haven't already, please uh, subscribe. It would mean so much to me. We're getting so close to hitting that 2K here on YouTube, which would mean so, so much to me. Always check out my TikToks and my Twitch. It's just the Frog Queen on both Twitch and TikTok. 
and of course a big special thank you to my patrons you guys have been so amazing supporting me over there on patreon and it really means the world to me so a very special thank you to lunchbox terror wolfie sarah licious scarlet joe and papa bear thank you so much everyone and until next time keep mining keep crafting keep creating <laughs> bye